Hello everyone, welcome to RJ Special Techno channel. In the previous session, we discussed in detail how to use the process chaining and send the WPS request using Postman. In this session, we will delve into the details of using Apache Maven to develop custom web processing services or WPS within Show Server. For more information, watch the rest of this video. Show Server enables users to publish your special data and perform analysis using the web processing services or WPS standard. To create a custom WPS for Joe Server, you need to set up a server that can handle your special processing tasks through web services. This guide walks you through the process of developing a custom WPS in Joe Server from setting up Apache Maven and configuring your development environment to building, testing, and deploying your services effectively. Maven Project Setup Apache Maven is an open source build automation tool for Java projects that simplifies project management by automating the build lifecycle and managing dependencies. Using the XML configuration file or pom.xml, developers can define project layouts and automate tasks such as compiling, packaging, testing, and deployment. Maven reduces manual errors, save time, and ensures consistency across environments, promoting collaboration, and best practices in project organization. Its extensive ecosystem and community support a variety of plugins and tools, allowing developers to focus on coding rather than build management. To get us started with Maven, follow the steps below. Navigate to the maven.apache.org website. In the left-hand menu, click on the download section. Scroll down to the file section and click the Apache Maven 3910-bin.zip link. Add a new environment variable named Maven underline home in the system environment variables and set its value to the directory where you extracted Maven. Add percentage maven underline home percentage backslash bin to the path variable. Ensure that maven is installed on your system. You can verify the installation by running mvn-v in your terminal or command prompt. Create a folder called wps underline sum somewhere on your file system, then copy the pom.xml file into that folder. You can download this file from the description section. Here is an explanation of some of the key elements in this POM file. Project, the root element of the POM file. It contains all information related to the project, including its configurations. Model version, this specifies the version of the POM model being used. In this case, it's 400, which is the latest version of the POM model. Group ID, a unique identifier for the group of organization producing the project. Here it sets to org.geoserver. Artifact ID. The name of the project. In this case, it's some numbers. Packaging. It indicates the type of artifact produced by the project. Common values include jar, var, 
palm, and so on. Version. The version of the project. Here it's 2.27. Name. A human readable name for the project which is also some numbers. This is often used in documentation and the user interface to represent the project. Properties. This section is used to define custom properties that can be referenced elsewhere in the POM file. The properties defined here include project.build.source encoding. It specifies the encoding of the source code, UTF-8, GT.version, the version of the GeoTools library being used, 33.0, GS.version, the version of Geo server being used, here is 2.27.0. Dependencies. It contains the list of external libraries that the project depends on. Each dependency includes group ID, artifact ID, version, and a scope. Some specific dependencies in this section include GeoTools, GeoServer extensions, JUnit, and MicroNode. Build. This element contains configuration related to the build process, including plugins. Maven can use the plugins element during the build process. For example, the Maven compiler plugin specifies how to compile the code. Repositories. It defines the repositories where Maven can search for the dependencies. The specified repositories here are OSGO and OSGO-Alt. Process class creation. Start by creating a package to contain your custom WPS process. For this example, create the src slash main slash java directory under the root of the wps underline sum folder. After this step, your project should have this structure. Next, create a Java class that represents the custom WPS process. Inside the newly created package, add a file named sumnumbers.java. Insert your WPS process into this file. You can download this file from the description section. Here is a brief explanation of the elements in this file. Package declaration. This line specifies that the class sum numbers is part of the org.joserver.wps package, which organizes related classes and interfaces. Import statements. This lines import necessary classes from the GeoTools library and GeoServer's WPS. The imported classes are utilized to describe the process and its parameters and results. Describe process. This annotation provides metadata about the process, including the title and description of what the process does. Describe result. This annotation describes the output of the process, specifying the name and description of what the result represents. Describe parameter. This annotation describes an input parameter for the process. Class declaration. This defines a public class name sum numbers that implements the GeoServer process interface. This interface requires the class to provide specific functionalities for execution within the WPS. Execute method. This method contains the call logic of the process where the actual handling takes place. It takes two parameters and returns the sum of these two integers. GeoServer process registration. To register your custom WPS in GeoServer, Create an XML file named ApplicationContext.xml in the src slash main slash resources directory. This configuration sets up the necessary environment for the WPS implementation. You can download this file from the description section. This XML file is a Spring configuration file that defines a bin. Here are the key elements. XML declaration. This line specifies the XML version and character encoding used. Doc type declaration. This line declares the document type outlining the structure and rules for Spring bin configuration files. Bins element. This is the root element of the XML file indicating that it contains bin definitions. Bin element. This element defines a single bin that includes an ID and a class. 
ID is the unique identifier for the bin used to reference it in the application. Class specifies the fully qualified class name of the bin, indicating that it corresponds to the sum numbers class in the Joe Server WPS package. Finally, navigate to the root folder of your project WPS underline sum and open the comment prompt in that directory. Run the comment as shown on the screen. After successful execution, a folder named target will be created in the root directory containing a file name sum numbers 2.27.jar. Copy this jar file to the GeoServer slash web inf slash lib directory. After that, restart GeoServer. Once your server has restarted, you should see your custom presses listed on the WPS Request Builder page. To view it, navigate to the demo section and select the WPS Request Builder link. From the Choose Process drop down menu, select GS column sum numbers. As you can see, you will need to enter two integers in the provided input fields. Press the Execute Process in New Page button, and the sum of the two numbers will be displayed on the screen. The Advanced Show Server training course has now concluded. In our next session, we will begin a step-by-step -step hands on course on the Internet of Things or IoT. We would be happy if you subscribe to our channel and watch the videos. If you would like to learn more about using the process chaining with Postman, be sure to check out the suggested video. Have a good time!